Hey everyone, this is Jason with Preston Street Market and I am back with the second bag. So part two of the three-part um, Goodwill box um, mystery jewelry um, unboxing. So if you watched part one, I ordered three of these bags. Um, normally they're 80 um, per bag. Um, and then sometimes if you watch daily, like I do, they'll get down to as low as 25 and 30. So when they got down to 30, I grabbed two, I mean three. So with shipping and all that, um, I think it was right under a hundred dollars, um, for three of these bags. They're five pound bags from Florida. Um, I opened the box that they all came in in part one. So I'm going to do this as part two. The first bag was not bad, but it wasn't great. Um, I've gotten a lot of good things from, um, thegoodwillbox.com. Um, so that is thegoodwillbox.com. They do a five pound, um, mystery jewelry also, um, that you can pretty well get anytime you want. Um, they're rarely out of stock. So let's get into it. This looks like a lot of necklaces, um, which is fine because the last one was a lot of bangles. And, but we did find that nice, um, 14 karat gold pearl, um, necklace, which is great. So, oh, almost a bead. So I like that they put stuff in bags. Their stuff is usually, you know, fa fairly decent. Um, had it not been for that <laughs> pearl necklace though in my last part one this would have been a, a mess so let's go ahead and pull out a little clump here and see what we've got if everybody's doing good please like subscribe follow whatever it is that you do i appreciate all the support i can get i like doing these it's a lot of fun very relaxing and due to a lot of feedback, I don't have my music playing. Um, I muted it or, or not even turning it on. So um, hopefully that will um, make some of you happy. So let's go. Okay. And start with the tangle. How about that? Okay. So we have a sort of um, copper uh, art glass. Um bracelet kind of crude looking this was really interesting um really really interesting this is like acrylic lucite this closure i don't know if you can see i i don't think it's sterling because it's worn you can see um you know, where the silver is, or silver tone is starting to fade, but I think it's kind of cool. Um, very different. You know, this is a candidate for a mystery box for sure. So, let's see. So, we've got uh, earring. So, these are some black and red plastic beads. Uh, no marking, but okay. Gold tone bangle. Wouldn't that be nice if it was real gold? Haha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh oh. Not a good start. Starting off with the broken piece. That'll go and harvest. Another piece of broken. All right. Let's see. This is a core. Oh, that's broken too. That's come untangled. So that is just scrap. Some stretchy beads. Uh, gold tone. Gold tone. It says Avon S P. It's marked here. What does that say? That also says, okay, Avon SP gold tone necklace with a solitaire crystal. Um, that's nice enough. All right, some handmade. 
plastic beads, handmade bracelet, another gold tone bangle, just checking to make sure. I don't see any marks. It's a really pretty cuff, or actually it's not a cuff, it's a bracelet, um, cable style, but I don't think it's silver. I think it's just fashion, but nice enough. Lulu Frost. I've seen Lulu jewelry before. I had a pair of earrings that I had never come across. And unfortunately, it looks like there's just one of these, which is bizarre. But okay. <laughs> I don't know why that gets me, but one lonely earring. Let's hope, let's hope it's in there. All right. So now a gold tone cuff. We have these look handmade, black and yellow acrylic beads um, with sort of a leopard print. Decent enough. Okay, silver tone. Looks like a necklace. I don't think it's going to be worth my time to untangle. Uh, and it looks broke. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, look. So it's marked LF. So I thought it was missing a stone, but it's not. So I don't know why one would be in the bag and one wouldn't be, but that's actually very pretty. Nice, pretty set. And that is, again, is Lulu Frost. So my two-year-old nephew, he's such a doll. Both of them are. I love them both. Um... His name is Lucas, and from birth, I've called him Lulu, and now everybody calls him Lulu, and he's a sweet little guy. So, silver tone uh, bracelet, it's like some plastic beads, broken cuff, oh, another Lulu Frost earring. Oh no, can't you need a third one? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, so this looks like it is Tory Birch. Ew, lots of hair. Some plastic beads. Yeah, so a Tory Birch necklace. Not that exciting. This is just weird and interesting. So this was the first thing I saw. Look at this. It's just so weird and interesting. I sure hope that there's a match to it. That's just funky and unusual. Kind of screaming Art Deco to me. I hope I find the name. You feather jewelry, yuck. Nope. Recycle. So we've got a sort of rubber plastic um, bracelet, more child's beads, okay, uh, turquoise, faux turquoise and gold tone, not seeing a hang tag, just a nice costume piece, more of the bead kit bracelets. Um, so this is, um, rose gold tone. Um, I think there's a, a Cartier bracelet, you know, made to look similar, but definitely not Cartier for sure. I did find a Cartier watch, not in a mystery bag, but in some jewelry that I've had sitting aside to check that I wasn't sure if it was real Cartier and it was confirmed that it was. So it's about, a. The prices, the sold prices, mind you, are anywhere from 7000 to 12000 So I'm not quite sure what avenue I'm going to use to sell it, but um, it's crazy. It's been sitting by my desk and in my office, in my warehouse. Um, and I finally saw the person that I had met, um, 
that I had wanted to, to look at it and verify it. So did that this weekend. Let's see. That is also, I think, a Tory Burch. Yep. Oh, tangled mess, tangled mess, tangled mess. All right, so this is a very long, crystal-y, crystal little baubles uh, necklace. Tory Burch, a lot of Tory Burch earrings. Now these are really pretty. Um, sort of a copper tone um, earring. Okay, no, they're not broke. So, copper tone earrings. Well, no, they're not broke. Copper tone with some pretty green enamel, enamel, AB stone. Um, and this looks black, but it's actually like a deep ruby. Now, those are nice. I think somebody might buy those in my auction. So, oh, these are kind of cute boho owl earrings. Let's see if I can find the mate. Silver tone earring, missing a stone there. Just a recycled bead. Let's see, let's see, wow us, please, wow us with something. Oh, this is just no bueno. Yeah. All right. Oh, this is cool. Another boho kind of, like, um, encased flower. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know about that. All right. So these are sort of a groovy atomic mid-century mm, earring. We'll see if I can find the other one before I try to untangle it. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. This is a mess. So it looks like that's an earring. And this, let me see. These are these are just plastic pearls. And this is, um, you know, faux, faux pearl. So I'm just going to set those aside for now. All right. So we have Tory Burch. Um, little charm. Charm style bracelet. All that Tory Burch stuff is, is pretty worn. I don't know that I'd really be able to do anything much with it. Um, this looks like it's kind of broke, yeah. And this looks like something's missing. I don't know. No, no, no. Handmade. It's cute. Um, these look like genuine little turquoise beads. Little pieces of coral. Oh, no. I don't, I don't like seeing these. These are fun for kids to play with, but I don't want to see that in a mystery box. So these are signed, probably Bobble Bar. Yep, that's what it is. Yuck. Nope, 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 nope. All right, another little magnetized bracelet. Stretchy Tory Burch style. I don't think this is actual Tory Burch. It might be, but... Hmm. Well, look at that. Looks definitely artisan, handmade. Um, kind of cool. That's a genuine amethyst. It's cold. So that's not bad. Let's see. Somebody might like it. Okay. Gold tone. That's missing something there. Yeah, no. Right, we've got a gold tone uh, pendant, jeweled pendant, handmade beads. So we do have a match here, earrings.
kind of worn. Oh, come on, give us something exciting. Okay, this looks broke. Or maybe... Yeah, it's broken. It's too bad. So, single pearl earring. So this matches that other necklace we just looked at. Some nice... Um, earrings. That's, that's glass. That looks like Jasper. That looks like Jasper. So this matches that turquoise and gold tone uh, necklace. All right. Let's see, what is this? Oh, it tangles, tangles. Mm, this is gold. This is gold. Let me see. What do you say? 10 carat. Yep. So a 10 carat Figaro, I think is how you call this. It's broken, but a 10 carat Figaro piece of a chain that'll go in my scrap. So that'll, that might pay a few dollars on, on the 30 that it cost me for this bag. So Oh, here's the rest of it. Oh, that's a shame that it's broke, but you know what? It's a lot of hairs. It's so gross. Um, I believe that I can actually fix this. Yeah, I think I can fix this and make this a wearable, sellable chain. So that's a nice find, 10 carat. Okay, and then we have a sort of Orangey bobble, oops, um, necklace, no, no signature. Dirty, dirty. Let's just dump it all out because it looks like it's bracelets, necklaces, miscellaneous. So. All right. So we have the match here to this earring, whoops. Anyway, we have a match. Um, plastic stretchy. That's pretty. Like go. Mm, I don't know. Watch. Oh, that's interesting. Pretty. A rhinestone. Sort of reminds me of a hot air balloon for some reason. Um, not signed. There's miss some stones missing, but I can harvest these rhinestones. Oh boy, wooden jewelry. Right, red heart. This is just um, stretchy crystal. Come on, guys, really trash. All right, so some handmade plastic beads. More. Plastic beads. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's pretty. I guess this is some type of maybe ornament or was something else made into an ornament. I'm not sure. That's pretty. It's a uh, Jewish or Star of David, rather. Hmm. Interesting. Um... Yeah, recycle. Kato earrings, nickel free, three ninety nine. Oh, we have the mat. Uh, we have the match. Yeah, so these are a nice little. I would almost call these boho little brass tone owl earrings. They're kind of scratched here, or maybe just dirty. I'll try to clean them up. If I can clean them up, I'll put them in my auction. Otherwise, they'll go into craft. So another uh, very worn magnetized bracelet. All right, starfish gold tone necklace, and it has a hang tag, but it doesn't say anything. Interesting. That's pretty. All the stones are there.
Okay, this says HD. These are nice uh, enameled, the brown, sort of deep brownie orange stone. There's a lot of hair in this lot. But these are tangled, obviously. Very tangled. Tangles, tangles. And I might, might just be making it worse. I think I'm just, oh, there it is. All right. So a long, bobbly um, plastic bead necklace. And here's a um, costume cuff. Well, that's pretty. But I can probably assure you it's not a no, yeah, it's just a costume piece, but quite nice. Um, what is this? What is this? Diosa. Diosa, sort of a multi layered. Uh, seed bead necklace. Okay. Shell earrings. Some artisan pieces in here. Uh, that's another bobble bar. No, thank you. We found the mate to this. Plastic bead. So we do have the match to that. Those are just plastic. Now these are interesting. So there's some somebody's art, some little artisan. Must have donated their jewelry. Um, this definitely looks handmade. Super cute. Um, this is brand new fashion jewelry. Not even going to bother with it. Um, made in China, I'm sure. So broken, oh, we, we, broken pieces, we're going to craft. Um, gold tone, brass tone necklace. Now we have the match to that. Now these are good beads. So let me pick all these up. Another of these faux Cartier. Put all these together. Get them out of the way. All right, so several bracelets. Uh, hair clip. Some more um, packaged fashion jewelry. Native art, not Indian made. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Well, these are pretty, but they're this is broke, but I can definitely harvest those stones. They're nice. Broken piece of something. Well, here's another earring to one and Tory Burch earring. So we do have the mate. This kind of looks like maybe it was broken looking at the other one, but I don't think so now. I think this is an intentional sort of sim simplistic mid-century modern style um, encased floral um, earrings. So I might try to run those through my auction. They're just kind of groovy enough. All right. Another um, magnetized bracelet. Stretchy bracelet. This looks like more of that native um, piece that we just looked at. 
We have a bracelet here, little charm on it. Little evil eye earrings. Hmm. Yep, they're not gold, unfortunately. So there's that. Oh, and we have the mate. So there was two pairs of these identical. So I'll put this to the side. Uh, gold tone. Let me see. Is that something there? Nope, it's nothing. So gold tone. And then looks like we have some, just some, some little bits. So this was not the best bag. I'm not going to lie. I think the only thing that we're really able to salvage are some, this artisan piece here, um, that I think is deserving of, you know, appreciation. And we have this 10 carat necklace, um, that even after I fix, you know, this might bring, you know, $75. So I might can double my money on this. I don't know. Let's see. We have these enameled earrings. Nothing super amazing, but could be worse. Could have been a blue box from, from um, anywhere but Hackensack, New Jersey. <laughs> and we've got these Lulu frost earrings when new with tag and then another pair uh, also new with tag so there you have it i think this is what i'm able to salvage um from this lot everything else is either scrap or uh for my mystery boxes so get another look at everything this is kind of kind of what it's gonna be i think definitely if it wasn't for finding this broken piece of gold um this would be a, a loss, but I think that saved us and these other few bits will, will only help, help us out. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I will see you all soon. Stay tuned for part three.